in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Lord, we give you praise. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you Your hands and worship him in this place. You are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Sing move by your spirit. your hands and bless you. just lift your hands express your passion and your desire go ahead and bless him everywhere inside and outside hallelujah hallelujah Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. O only potent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in. Oh, me, potent Father, and grace. you are welcome. welcome Spirit of the Living God, we thank you. I pray tonight that you will visit us and give us an encounter. We have come before your mighty presence 
Open our eyes and cause us to see. Open our ears and let us hear the sounds from heaven. Lord, we bless you. Holy Spirit, we cannot do without you. And so we declare that this ground is open. We bow down and worship you. Worship you. We bow down and worship Him, worship Him, oh worship Him. Lift your voice and sing, we bow down and we enter in, we bow down and worship Him, we enter in, enter in. Is the consuming fire consuming fire sweet pursue his awesome presence fills this room this is holy This is holy ground. This is holy ground, say. Oh, come, oh, come, oh, come. And come. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called the voices again one more time sing
Zila la la namos, na 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 na. Zima di na namos, na 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 namos, di na na na. Zila namos, na 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 mali na namos ya. Zere na na namos, mali na 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 The Holy Ghost, sing it from your heart. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, take your place, take your place, take your place.
I love you more than life. Shibala Kataba. Hallelujah. Let me teach you a little song. I wrote this song years ago. It's a very simple song. It says, let the weight of your glory fall. And let it cover all the earth. Oh goodness, the presence of God is mighty in this place. Mighty. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. That's all to the song. Sing it from the depths of your heart. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. That's our desire. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Can you sing it? Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover. Lord, let your Shekinah mantle us tonight. Let it cover all the earth. Come on, lift your hands, lift up the instruments. Let it cover all the earth. This is our desire, oh God. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory. Go ahead and worship him. Your presence is mighty in this place. Mighty in this place. Yeah. You're mighty in this place. You're mighty in this place. You're mighty in this place. Say, Maria, say, Maria, most Shema 
Go ahead and sing in the spirit. Go ahead and put melodies upon your prayer. Shama na 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 masuto bakata balada bakata brenda gete. Rakata balada. Seba baba rada balada rada bo. Shuba rada 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 bo. Sumaria na 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 na. Hey yeah. Kana mo sera na 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 bo. Shina na 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 bo. Ragada mala na 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 bo. Shira na 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 bo. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, awesome are you, Lord. Shima na 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 mosi na na na. Awesome are you, Lord. King of kings, mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, say, mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, mighty are you, Lord. Oh, he arises as a man of war tonight. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Kappa, te kappa. Sen te kappa. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Mighty are you, Lord. Sen anamali anamot. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Awesome are you, Lord. Awesome are you, Lord. Shena na mani na na na. King of kings. So let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open? The flood gates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain. Would you open the flood gates of heaven? Listen, I hear the rain, I hear the rain. He's opened the floodgates of heaven. Tonight we see the rain. We see the rain. He's opened the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the blood gates of hell. Go ahead and worship. Let it rain. Open, open the blood gates of heaven. Let it rain. The rain, I hear the rain. He's opened the floodgates of heaven. 
Lord, we hear the rain. We see the rain. Let it 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 rain. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. I arise with healing upon my wings. Say the Spirit of God. I arise with healing. I arise with healing. I arise with healing. The healing power of God is in this place. I arise with healing. Adonai. Lamb of God, forget about the rain and worship. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords, let your kingdom reign in my heart. Adonai. I do not I do not I do not Sing it together I do not I do not Go ahead and pray in tongues. Edify your spirit. Shata prata kata bala da bakata prata kata bala da bakoso prando gotosh. Shaka taba raba da bala da bakata prega da bala da bots. Mam prapa ta kata prata kata kata bala da bakoto fras ke bala. Shaka taba la da bots. Eka te pros ke bande ke le baria ta baria da baba baba baba. Shoko to baka prega da bala da bots. Enkra ta kata le koso posi bada kata. Shakata rakatos kopondo goto pros ke bala da ba. Meka le bas ke priya da bala da bas ke prondo shubai. Rabe de ge de bala da boko to fraga da bala da bas. Apare de boko to pros ko prendi ge de bas. Le kata pros ko pondi kres ke bala kate. Jo proto koto prekata bala da bakata fa. Soto boko to prekata le boko to prende kate. 
Pray, 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 pray. Build your spirit. Make intercessions. Let the Make contact with heaven. Rise through prayer. Le bronze ke bosha bal ke bronze ke bariata me kete bronze ko balaba da ba da katai se kete le bosu pratiara bash take charge over the heavenlies send the bronze ki bati kata ta 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 pa kata se kata ta ta pa kata bala da bosh men ought always to pray and not to faint shoto to koto pro koto polo do bo koto fresh de kete bali bati abalaba I release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication. Makata prakata parakate. Shakata bakata prokoto poko sakate. Shakate rekate makapo shkambatia. Ekrakata gade gade bagade bagade balada bakasoto poko to pregade gade. Makapa koto shopoko to balaba. Mente prata kata lekate boska. Emprot kapo shkabande kapo shabaska. Lekate poko so protoko to pakate. Make a protis cabaria da basca proske bos, a crata tata pocoto proske baba baba baba. Like a tepacora sica tebalaba. Sacata prosco baricate. Sintecate lecate baba baba baba. Supa papa catapalada bacatica de balaba. Come on, pray, coinonia. Sica tecate baba 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 baba. Shekatele baka bronze pata katai. Shekatele baka taba ba 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 ba. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Shekatete te ba la da ba. Don't be tired. This is part of the meeting. This is koinonia. Abrande kaparatos ko prati balada ba. Balabala boso produce balada ba. There's an army rising up. There's an army. Rising up, there's an army. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. There's an army. There's an army rising up. Don't break every chain. Lift your hands, everyone. Shika pata tabala daba. Lift your hands. Shika parente kabala daba shika tai. Mande krata la pa koprondo skobali kariada. Zete parata parikata. Zekatere potsukotoi. 
Keep your hands lifted up. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to be touching men, touching women. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. From the front to the back. The power of the Holy Ghost. That's what happens when we worship. Yeah, yeah. The Lord is breaking limitations. The Lord is breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Hallelujah. 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 Please hold your hands all across the building. In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in tongues. The Lord is doing something in this place tonight. I began to sense this right from the morning. Hold your hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray. Instrumentalists, don't stop praying. We are going to pray in tongues. Listen, within these five minutes, there will be a bursting. Something will break open. As you pray, for many of us, there will be a release of very deep spiritual virtues. This is not just ordinary prayer. Trust me. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. Zembro dos cobran de galabasha tapakata rakata pokoto pokoto baba 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 the Bible says while they prayed the Holy Ghost said unto them separate me Paul and Barnabas Lord as we pray tonight let there be impartations let there be openings openings of portals openings of vessels pray 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 like a priest pray like a priest pray the Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. Right to the back. Make sure you pray. Spiritual doors are opening. Spiritual doors are opening. I see spiritual doors opening. Spiritual doors are opening. Access, access, access. Access is being given to men. Access to deep spiritual things. Access, access is being given to men. Access in the spirit. Access in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. He told Jacob, for as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. Shatata Pakarapa Babakata Rakata Protokotopolodobos 
Shakata kata, rakata pakoto bush, manta prata kata, lekata proskoto prokotos, embrakata baba baba baba. Come on, lift your voice and pray. There's an army, they are rising up, they're rising up, there's an army, they are rising up, there's an army, rising up. We will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Tell me, what can I do? I can live without you. I can live without you. Tell me 
what can I do? I can live. There's a part of I want to sing. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, lift your voice. Chant it in the spirit. Oh. oh, oh, oh. the voices sing it one more time from the depth of your heart hallelujah This is koinonia, an experience of intimacy with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's a family that has been on my mind. I don't know if they are here. The family with the... Is it the mad person now? Or the, are they here? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We're in for an experience tonight. I began to see this right from the morning. I'm telling you, chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. I still hear this in my spirit. Chains are breaking. 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 Oh, let the chains break. Every chain over everyone here. Every chain. Every chain. Every chain. Every assault of darkness. Every chain. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every chain. Every chain, every chain is broken right now. Chains of habits, chains of limitations. Hallelujah. You're the person. Please confirm it. Where's the family that there was a there are people that spoke to me about someone they are not here someone who got mad or psychosomatic it's not a word of knowledge there is a family that i'm supposed to minister to here okay if they are not around that's okay why are you here your brother your elder brother what's wrong with him come how many years seven years where is he at home I'll pray the Lord will use you as a point of contact Lord Jesus let your power touch the brother even through him in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah The Lord is showing me many ladies with abdominal pain. Just place your hand there right now. The Lord is showing me many people, especially ladies. Hallelujah. I'm just going to rebuke it and I see like, like they look like guns, but it's fire. Literal fire. It will live and it will hit you and that is the end of it. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ right now i cause that pain 
Go now. Go now. 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 Every devil of darkness responsible for every pain I cost you now in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Be healed right now. Be healed. The power of God is healing them right now. Right now. Right now. You may not even know right now. The sign is that it will touch you. It must touch you. You can't stand on your feet. If you are part of this list, it will touch you. That's what the Lord is showing me. I cost that pain. I cost that spirit of infirmity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hand on your chest. The Lord is going to rebuke blood conditions right now. Blood conditions. Blood conditions. Blood conditions. All those who are part of it, there will be this same fire. It will come upon you in a mighty way. It's a sign that you are the one God is touching. This is not something vague. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Right now, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, blood conditions, I speak to you. All those affected, may the fire of God set you free. Now, 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 now the power of God is touching people. Right now, right now, I cost that devil. I cost that devil. I cost that devil. I cost that devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. I see visions of the spirits of infirmity, living people, living people, living people. In the mighty name of Jesus, I curse that spirit. The Lord is showing me two ladies. And I'm seeing a guy, you have a problem with sleeping. You don't sleep. No matter what happens, you don't sleep. You just stay awake and sleep never comes. Where are they? Two ladies I see the Lord showing me. Please, let's save time. And one guy. Please save time if, if, if you are the one, just so that save us all of the time. How long has it been? Huh? Six months. How about you? Huh? I'm seeing your hands chained. Your own situation. There's, there's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. There's still one more lady. There's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. Hallelujah. Come, I have to pray for you. Yours is more than a sleep problem. Hold my hands. I cast this chain in the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go right now. And I break by the power of the Holy Spirit. This spirit that causes you not to sleep. You are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. How many months? Six months. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free right now. You will begin to sleep normally in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is touching someone's ear right now as I speak. The Lord is touching someone's ear. You will literally feel as though a cotton board is put in your ear and all of a sudden it will open up and become clearer. Thank you Lord Jesus. I give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing a lady of a breast lump. You began to see this. You've not even shared it with many people. Breast lump is living right now.
right now dissolving and going back to hell never to return to you again hallelujah hallelujah there are four people listen there are four families that as I speak right now the angel of the Lord is going to their homes and is causing major breakthroughs listen listen it's not it's not just prophecy for everybody four exact people one there are four of them two the angel of the Lord literally 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 is entering these homes and they are receiving dramatic breakthroughs dramatic breakthroughs the Lord is showing me over 10 people and I see academic chains this is what I see 10 people 10 people and this is not your fault 10 people I'm going to begin to count 1 to 10 and goodness it's like fire 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 I cast those spirits 2 3 4 5 6 Badakata. 7 8 9 I cast those chains I cast those chains I cast those chains It comes to an end I tell you it comes to an end that chain breaks now and forever it comes to an end hallelujah let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing if this is all he does tonight that's all right hallelujah hallelujah I'm seeing two eyes in the spirit and God wants to open up at least 19 people here in the realm of visions and supernatural experiences. Listen, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, prophetic fountains, those eyes in the spirit, Sheketata Parata. Sheketete Pokotosh. At least 19 people, at least 19 people, Shataka Bariata, fire, physical fire coming upon your eyes, physical fire coming upon your eyes. Open them up, oh God, to these dimensions of supernatural revelations. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord. And God wants to cause barrenness from two families. Now, two families, right now, just two families. Father, wherever these families are represented, right now, let your power visit and set them free now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands this row. All of you here, just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. From the front right to the back, there are people that God again is visiting their families. Families, families. God is bringing breakthrough right now right now 
just this row lord in the name of jesus let those families let the angel of the lord there are angels walking through this crowd right now right now right now in the name that is above all names angels of the lord walking to families performing specific miracles specific miracles specific miracles specific miracles hello in madonna hello in madonna Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hallelujah. I cast that spirit from this lady in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. There are some devils that need to leave this place right now. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. God is bringing mighty deliverance for people now. Every service is miracle service. Are you getting my point now? We are going to shout that name Jesus. My goodness. I am telling you major deliverances that will bring breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. The symbol. Hallelujah. At the count of three I want you to shout that name. I command every devil and every spirit every act of witchcraft and divination in the name of jesus and at the count of three they must come out of their hiding places and go never to return are you ready now one two three i cause devils now i cause spirits now i cause spirits every wicked spirit out of God's people out of every family now I break spells I break witchcraft I break the power of divination bring them out bring them out I cost that power it's not just them, families, their families. I set fire, fire, fire upon altars. I set fire back at the I set fire upon Hallelujah. Lift your hands again. God is visiting families. This is not about you. All the people here are representing families. Lift your hands. Oh, the fire of God must fish them out. There is no hiding for any spirit. Shh. At the count of three, you will shout that name at the top of your voice. And a sword of the spirit will go to your family. There must be deliverance tonight. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Jesus! Let the 
Hallelujah. The Bible says, How awe inspiring are your ways? It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. All the people you see here, they are representing their families. God is stepping into families. Those doors must be open. I see ancient gates in the spirit. Ancient gates. And I'm about to command them to open. Listen. When I command those gates to open, those affected, you will feel it physically. These are the gates that cause limitations over people and families. But in the name that is above all names, I come tonight under this apostolic and prophetic anointing. <laughs> Advancement. I command you be open. I command you be open. Hallelujah. Any family, lift your hands, that is tied down by any kind of limitation. I don't care what it is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if that spirit has survived anywhere else, in this place, this is the mount of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command those doors open now. I command those doors open now. Doors of breakthrough be open now. Doors of breakthrough be open now. Doors of breakthrough be open now. Doors of breakthrough. Be be open now Amen. by the force of the spirit be open now be open now be open now be open now hallelujah Say after me in the name of Jesus. Name Come on, Jesus. shout it, shout it. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I, declare I declare that every force, that every force stopping, the of my stopping the advancement of my family by the fire of the Holy Ghost, live now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every power you must be in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Pick up your Bibles, Daniel chapter 10. The devil is in trouble tonight. 
Zente kaparakata Bikata sitanda Seke poko to poko to Bakata sitanda Daniel chapter 10 You have come for koinonia It's an experience It's a mountain Something must change about your life Daniel chapter 10 verse 10 and behold an hand touched me and set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands and he said unto me O Daniel a man greatly beloved understand the words that I speak unto thee and stand upright for unto thee I am now sent. And when he had spoken this word to me, I stood trembling. Verse 12. Then said he unto me, Fear not. Daniel had been fasting and praying. He said, For from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard. And I am come to thee for thy words. Verse 13. But the prince, listen, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. And lo, Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me. And I remained there with the kings of Persia. Listen, the Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Then it says against principalities against powers then against rulers then against spiritual wickedness they do not operate in the earth realm the bible says they operate in the heavenlies this prince of persia was the territorial spirit across the land of persia so when gabriel was bringing the answer the solution that prince stopped him. I have been put in charge of this territory to make sure that breakthrough does not come to men. To make sure that men are not lifted. But there was a man in the earth realm who kept praying. And while he prayed, it was on the strength of his authorization the, from the arsenals of heaven, the archangel Michael had to come because he's the archangel in charge of war. We are going to pray tonight. Every land has territories. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Every land has territories. And there are spirits. Those of you who have listened to the message, give me this mountain. There is a spiritual dimension to life. And there are, met, there are certain things that will never manifest in your life until you prevail in prayer. Jacob held on to him. He said, I will not let you go. He said, leave me for the day break it. He said, no way. He said, what is thy name? He said, Jacob. He said, your name will be changed to Israel. For as a prince, you have power with God. And you have prevailed. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Don't let anybody fool you and tell you what we just read was the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, when you pray, it just comes. It, 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 it makes... Listen. The kingdom of God is a system. The earth realm is a system. Are you getting my point? It is as soon as Zion travails, hallelujah, that she will put forth. There is a birthing. This is the ninth month. If you didn't come to pray tonight, I'm so happy about the rain. Because you won't go anywhere. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray now? We are going to pray. Listen. We are going to confront powers. Zechariah chapter 1, please, quickly. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18. Zechariah chapter 1. Verse 18. Then I lifted up my eyes and I saw. And I beheld what? Four horns. A horn is a symbol of authority. Next verse. And I said unto the angel that talked with me. What be these? What are these horns? And he answered me, These are the horns that have scattered Judah. These are the horns 
that have scattered Jerusalem. These are the horns that are making your father to never reconcile with your mother. These are the horns that make finances to stop when it's about to come. These are the horns hindering the gates of marriage. Verse 20. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then I said, what come this to do? He said, these are the horns that have scattered Judah. Judah means praise. These are the horns that have robbed you of your testimony. Of your joy. He said, so that no man does what? Lift up his head. They have put a barrier around your family and your life. And they have said, no man will lift up his head. So every time you want to lift up your head, there are horns. They station them. Hear me and take seriously what I'm saying. They have drawn the boundaries. Man takata. Goodness. I tell you, I sense deliverance fire in this place tonight. Oh, those horns must leave. For sure. There are horns stationed across territories to make sure that men do not rise. Some of you, this is a limitation. You are the first person in your family to get to the university. There are horns. But tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are going to step out and put on our priestly regalia. We are going to confront the heavens he told Job, he said, has thou commanded thy morning? Did you speak into the heavenly territories? Did you command the things to align themselves? We are praying tonight. The Bible says the stars fought for Deborah. She was a warrior and the constellations arranged themselves to make sure that enchantments could not go to the heavens. Lift your voice. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Come on now, you have to be more serious than this. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. All right. That every power. Across my territory. That wants to stop me. And stop my family. From rising, up, from rising up I challenge you tonight, challenge you tonight by, the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and begin to pray <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we are praying tonight. Jude 1. 
Jude 1 verse 9. You will see tonight that Satan is interested in this body that you wear. Jude 1. Everyone read. Want to read. Hold on. Do you see Michael again? Michael in Daniel contending against powers. He shows up again in the book of Jude. Read on. Want to read. Hold on. He disputed about the what? Spirit. Soul. Body. Satan wanted the body of a man. Satan wants the bodies of men. Not just their spirits. Because without a body, without a body, demonic activities cannot be carried out. The church is called the body that the Holy Ghost uses. It's called the body of Christ. The body that the Holy Ghost wears. There is a law in this realm. That any spirit that does not have a body cannot function in this realm. So Satan wants the body of Moses. If he looked for the body of Moses, Moses in the Old Testament, how much more your own body? So he will afflict you. He wants your body. So he will manipulate your body and all kinds of objects moving around. But the Bible says, Know ye not that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Know ye not. Listen. We are going to pray. I'm establishing a prayer point. Jesus entered the temple, which was his body, and he found out that there were strangers in that temple. Are you getting my point now? Those who should be in the temple were not there. And he found people doing business in the temple. There were transactions going on in his body. That's the same way Satan carries out all kinds of transactions in human bodies. And you hear people complaining. Objects are moving in my body. You see people sleep in the night. And all kinds of devilish things come to oppress them. Tonight we are going to pray. Are you getting my point? Please if you are sitting except you are under the anointing stand up. And let's take some time to pray. You must get angry tonight and let's pray. Because something must break. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your voice. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. That my body. Is the temple of the Holy Ghost. My body. My body. Belongs to Jesus. Therefore every strange spirit. Attempting to hold on to my body. I command you right now. Depart from my body now. Lift your voice and pray. Every stranger. Every stranger this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Shikata la 
Hallelujah. Everywhere the gospel was preached, Jesus demonstrated that he was not only interested in the spirits of men, but their bodies. What healing does to your body is what salvation does to your spirit man. Hallelujah. We are going to cause the root of sickness. I want you to get ready because the devil is in trouble. There's fire burning in this place this night. No matter how mad a man is, he does not enter fire by mistake in the name of madness. Are you getting what I'm saying? No matter how stupid a man is, in his insanity, he knows fire when he sees it. The Bible says he maketh his ministers winds. Are you getting my point? And his messengers flames, flames of fire. Every stranger in your body is about to leave. I don't care what it is called. Sickness is that. Let me tell you how you know that these things are demonic. Because many of us, when you pray on it, it will go. And then later on it will return. You are a lady, they pray for you. And then for one or two or three months, you find out that your period just comes normally. No pain, no nothing. And then in the fourth month, it backfires again. There are people, recurrent headache, all kinds of devils. A growth comes and then it goes. You pray and try to treat it, it goes. We are going to set it on fire right now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says, know ye not that your body. I showed you from the book of Jude. Satan was fighting with Michael over the body of Moses. Hallelujah. This body is your legal access for living and functioning in this realm. If it is battered beyond repair, your spirit will no longer be able to stay there and it will have to leave. So if Satan cannot get to manipulate your mind, he will batter your body in a way that your spirit cannot live and it will have to go. We are going to pray. Many of us, as you are praying right now, you will be surprised. Huh? Now is the time to pray all those. Hold on, please, one minute. Genotype. Huh? I've read my Bible from Genesis. Please listen. This is very serious what I'm sharing. There's no mention of any nonsense of genotype in this Bible. Have you read your Bible? There are many ladies right now, many guys, they cannot even get married. They can't think of anything because the devil put one rubbish embargo called genotype. S, S, A, S and all of those rubbish. Now you want to get married or you want to settle down, they tell you no. Health wise, every parent is carrying their child and running away. The devil is in trouble tonight. We are going to pray. If he was not here, he should not be in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe what I'm saying. Whatever has affected this body has affected God's property. And we're going to pray and invoke his presence that he will rise in his jealousy and attack any stranger. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of you, as you pray, growth will disappear. See, the trouble is that many of us have been praying, but we, we of course, I know not here, but generally, we, we do not know the power of the corporate anointing. Psalm 133 talks of God depositing the blessing where people are gathered together in unity. That's different from your personal prayer life. Are you getting my point now? We are going to pray. There are traits of infirmities around your family. There are traits of infirmity in your life. There are many of us, all sorts of embarrassing conditions, skin problems, to the minutest, to anything. Hear me! No matter how small it is, it is according to your faith tonight. Are you getting what I'm saying? He said, whatever my father has not planted, whatever he has not planted, he must be uprooted. Don't sit down and tolerate it. What you tolerate in your body, the devil will use it to destroy you. But when you resist the devil, the Bible says he will flee. 
Lift up your voice. We are going to pray again. Say after me in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness. Every infirmity. Every abnormality. In my body. Hear the word of the Lord. I command you. To leave this body now. I command you. To leave this body now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2, verse 24 and 25. Joel chapter 2. Let's start from verse 23. Joel 2, verse 23. Want to read? Verse 24. Verse 25. Shout it with all your heart. Shout it. Listen, listen, listen. We are still praying. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Based on the word of God. I place demand. For restoration. In my life. In my family. Hallelujah. We are going to pray that prayer again. You know the areas you want restoration. Please we are not playing games tonight. The presence of God is here. Hallelujah. When we get to that part, you will mention it. And we are going to pray. The Bible says, I will. It didn't say, I will send someone. I will supervise your restoration. Hallelujah. The years. We are going to say, Lord, turn the hands of time again. Turn the hands of time. Let that which the devil has stolen be restored. 
there are things that need to be restored tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive sevenfold restoration of everything the devil has stolen in my life. Now mention them. Your health, whatever it is. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give him thanks. We bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because our eyes will see the desires of our hearts and our hands will handle it. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please sit down. Just give me 10, 15 minutes and we're out of here. If this is all we have done tonight. It is worth it. There's no place for you to sit, stand, sit on the floor, sit anywhere. Go ahead. The service is already on. So, Please, there should be no vacant seat. There are still people standing. The person is under the anointing. Let the person lie down on the floor and let someone use the seat. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what the word of God has said. Revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what God has said. It's not even knowing that there is a kingdom principle. That's not revelation. Revelation is knowing how to make that principle work in your life. If it cannot work in your life, then it's useless. Hallelujah. See, we keep sharpening ourselves like this, like arrows in the presence of God. We are sharpening ourselves because we are trusting God to attain a statue in the spirit where no power in existence can stop your fulfilling God's destiny for your life. You believe that? There is a generation that is depending upon our faithfulness. The Bible says, he that sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. And he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life eternal. We're making investments in the spirit. We're laboring, we're traveling. You won't be surprised when you see your life and your prophetic destiny tomorrow. Because you will know that yes, it is God's grace, but Paul said it this way. I am what I am by the grace of God. Right? But he said, this grace was not showered upon me in that I labored more than ye all. There is grace that manifests as the favor of God. 
and there is grace that manifests as supernatural empowerment to do hallelujah the lord is changing your life i'm telling you gradually the bible says line upon line precept upon precept your value system your life the quality of your christian experience is changing and then like the 71 day he will trust you with responsibilities he will send you and you will be shocked to see that he has built you to be his finest the finest of the finest of the best don't trivialize what God is doing in your life brothers and sisters week after week you're submitting yourself to the dealings of the spirit and it will translate into something in your life you may not look like it now see that there is no athlete who wants to look good when you are rehearsing have you seen an athlete like that you are conscious of your shoe let it not have mud. no 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 when when you are training you will see footballers get dirty and all of that but when they lift that trophy huh they can now dress and enjoy the celebration my Bible tells me that no man that warreth will entangle himself with civilian affairs. These trainings will prune you. It will, it, will, it will build you. Listen to me. It will challenge you. It will stretch you. It will provoke you. But when you submit to the dealings of the Spirit, the end of it is peace. Something will happen in your life that money cannot buy something will happen in your life that is not common you will now know that it is not common to be yielded to the spirit it's not a gift not everybody is interested there are many people who are born again but very few people are interested in the things of the spirit so god is teaching us we spend time now to pray and travel in the spirit you cannot imagine the levels of victory and so you would just step home and you see that doors begin to open and some of you your loved ones will not know they'll just say aha uh -huh, things are working well now things don't just work they are enforced in the spirit learn this learn this learn this one day it will change it's a waste of time Time does not change things. Are you getting me? Engaging kingdom principles. 38 years. That man was at the pool of Bethesda. In less than 5 minutes he got up. He would have remained there forever. So the word of God that you are receiving. You must believe it. Please hear me. You must believe it. If you are just sitting down. And watching every week. And just looking and hoping. That this word will make sense one day you may be deceiving yourself the bible says ever learning have you seen people like that they have all of the revelation but never coming to the comprehension of the truth depart from those kinds of people when you come into the presence of god give your heart it says meditate on these things give yourself wholly to them and it gives you an assurance what's the assurance that thy profiting may appear look let me tell you um you see if your life does not bear fruit after a particular time you will be frustrated because it's god that sees the heart men look at the outward appearance are you hearing what i'm saying men do not have the ability to see the heart so your christian experience must translate into a testimony that glorifies the name of the lord are you hearing what i'm saying if it does not your family members will never see the relevance of your commitment to prayer and to the study of the word, the disciplines and the constraints of the spirit. Say, my life will bear fruit. Say it, my life will bear fruit. Brothers and sisters, if you go to your house and there is a sick person and you have a revelation and you pray for that sick person, stand up my brother, and you pray for that sick person and the sick person stands up, 
Do you know that that is a sermon that is more than one year of beckoning up? You don't need to invite people and say, come for coin. No, 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 no. The woman, at the, Samar the Samaritan woman said, come and see a man that has told me everything I've done. What is the result in your life that compels people to want to know about God? If your life continues to remain a barren wilderness, there is no reason why people should be attracted to your God. There was something that Ruth saw and she told Naomi. He said, "My, your God will be my God. Hallelujah. It's not just for you to come and watch a man of God doing great things. No. It's to provoke your spirit and you go back with that anointing. You're not falling down for nothing. Say, I'm anointed. Say it. Some of you are even laughing at yourself. Say it. It has nothing to do with fivefold ministry. It has everything to do with being alive. Hallelujah. And you step into your house, you step into your place of work, and you step in as an ambassador, as an envoy. Don't let people mock your emoji. Emoji for nothing. Emoji, emoji. They keep calling you. When there's trouble, they pass you. You are emoji as a nickname. No. Emoji, you say yes, and they pass you, and, and you are not contributing anything to the kingdom. Elisha said, Hi, I love that guy. He said, Let Naaman come and know that there is a prophet in Israel. Hallelujah. That there is a prophet in Israel. Can the devil look at your family and say, Ah, if, if only I can shift Zuera out of the way, and like a big hen, you stay there and say, You are invited. I have become a shield. He said, as for me and my house. For many of us, it's as for me and myself. It must translate beyond you. Are you getting my point? You shield others. You are minding your business and you see the devil trying to oppress somebody. You say, Satan is my business. It's my business. Whether you invite me or not, it is my business. You must let this person go. Hallelujah. Listen. It's not enough for you. Don't get used to seeing miracles, healings, deliverances. You know, in Koinonia, we're so used to miracles. When it happens, you just watch one of those things that's happened again. You see, it's a lesson. It's a handwriting upon your life. Are you hearing me? That God is challenging you and telling you that your life ought to be supernatural in every way not just by making noise and disturbing people when they are sleeping praying in tongues no it must translate it say let your light so shine before who before yourself before men you already know you have the light but they do not know he said let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and as a result praise your father in heaven when was the last time someone spoke to you about his situation and he said that's all right that's all right i come in the name of the lord jesus christ and you picked up your phone you said let's pray many of us is just hey yeah see, i just returned from koinonia it was powerful this night ah you missed and ben said, i'm i'm having a little stomach ache said, oh, it's like that let's let's just lie down it's too late the chemist is close oh, oh. no 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 you need to get angry one day are you hearing what i'm saying as soon as you get home you hear your sister saying finally my name came out they are about to to downsize me and 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 do all of that and he said oh i'm sure that god knows how he will work things out look at what you are saying you are the ambassador you are the voice of god in that room you must die one of the things i've learned listen to me one of the things i've learned about working in the anointing is that you must die to your ego hello are you hearing what i'm saying many of us are so conscious what if i i tell the people god will bless you and god doesn't bless them tomorrow they will now see me and say pastor that prayer you know people are so funny pastor you prayed and the prayer didn't work oh 
and you feel stupid you feel embarrassed if i do well god should take the glory if nothing happens who should take the shame I, I answer me who should take the shame so if you are taking the shame you have been hallelujah go and pray for the sick person pray let the person die in your hands no problem just pray you now go and find out what is wrong with you and then the person says there's there's one wound if i open it, you say ah you wouldn't have even told me look just quietly go to the hospital oh. challenge your faith hallelujah say me i'm not a man of god's wife i want peace i don't want to trouble satan let him know take away you see i believe that our mindsets are changing that mindset of i don't trouble you satan don't trouble me too let's all mind our business it does not work in this earth realm are you getting what i'm saying it does not work in the earth realm there are many of us i would not be surprised that there are some of us who sit down like that you believe that because you are not active in the things of the kingdom when the devil comes you will jump you and go and look for those who are really causing him trouble and he said the devil pass please pass i don't have anything i didn't look for any trouble it doesn't work that way satan does not disturb you because you have become a slave to him right but you must you must tear down the assaults of the devil over the lives of people say one more time i'm anointed say it i'm anointed the holy ghost just took over this meeting let's just flow with the way he's i'm anointed look at your hands everyone look at your hands i know you have been insulting it that it doesn't look nice forget about all those ones look at your hand whatever you have there is your hand whether it's rough or smooth it's irrelevant just look at your hand i'm talking about the spiritual the spiritual content i like you to say my hands represent the hands of jesus they carry the anointing of the holy spirit they can produce results and work wonders do you believe that this is god bless you this is my mentality this is my mentality my hands are not just for eating no it's, there is there is something upon my hands jesus has placed his hands upon my own hands many of us we keep falling down and rising but we are not blessing anybody i want to ask you a few questions just a few minutes and then we'll round up listen how many of us believe we are anointed we just said we're all anointed the question I have for you tonight is who has your anointing brought to the kingdom? Has your anointing been able to save anybody I once was lost? Huh? Come brother. That this brother was lost and on the strength of the anointing that you have whether it was to save him, to get him healed he has now come into the saving knowledge of the kingdom. if your anointing listen i'll tell you why many people do not see more of the anointing in their life they want anointing and the first question is for what what do you want it for so you'll be speaking and people will fall down <laughs> if that is your definition of the anointing if that is your scope you know especially the youth we like power and, and there's nothing wrong with it you like the fact that you just sit down and say i'm speaking some of you while i was talking and things were happening you were it was as if you were pouring cold water in your body calm down the lord is speaking to you right now calm down if there is no passion in your heart to see his kingdom come i am telling you now you do not need the anointing and you shall receive dunamis acts chapter 1 verse 8 please project it for us and you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and that power is to an end it says and you shall be what witnesses witnesses who is a witness who is a witness if tosin slaps this gentleman and i saw it what do you call me a witness 
if we go to the court i said tosin really sla i saw it so i'm a witness the holy ghost makes you a witness you were not there when jesus died are you are you getting what i'm saying you were not there when jesus died were you there you were not there on the cross but now you are standing to represent a message that you were not there physically so the holy ghost says at least i was i was i was there i was not in jesus on the cross but i was around i saw everything let me partner with you you do the talking and then i will prove that you are not a liar are you getting what i'm saying so you tell the sick that jesus has healed you all of this rubbish sickness is over and the holy ghost says yes i was there on the cross by his stripes this guy has been healed and you stretch forth your hands and the holy ghost validates that your claims are true everyone say i'm a witness but the, the challenge is that many of us are not witnesses indeed you have roommates you have people in your workplace and there's no transformation no transformation the lord is speaking to us tonight hallelujah i may not have time to talk so much about it but I, I i really wanted to talk extensively on soul winning tonight when god just took over we give him praise hallelujah we give him praise because at least he visited people and he blessed people but the question i have for us is that who is coming to the saving knowledge of jesus christ because of the investment of the spirit upon your life there are many of us who are the only ones who are born again in our family there are many of us you leave people just in and you get up and carry your bible and come for koinonia and you are happy again and again we've had people here especially students when they're in their final year some of them get to find out about koinonia it's not like they do not know but for many people the god of this world has blinded their minds they don't care are you getting my point point? and some of us just sit down we just watch and the devil keeps destroying these lives and then at a point where they have two or three weeks to get out of zaria then they come and you see them crying and wondering and getting angry with you and you say sorry it's okay now and then you don't do anything about it again the lord is speaking to us do you know why many ministries let me be sincere with you do you know why many ministries are small small in terms of membership and small in terms of impact look at every ministry that there is a rich investment of the ministry of the holy spirit they are committed to turning many into righteousness right and transforming lives why should i want the holy ghost in my life why should i want his anointing when i'm not interested in praying for the sick right when i'm not interested in 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 seeing people set free you see the church has reduced anointing to money hello hello and many of us are already becoming victims of this theology our concept of anointing is just power to prosper so i have the anointing meaning i have the anointing to prosper financially so you buy the car you buy the clothes you build the house you do everything and you say i'm anointed if you have ever doubt my anointing look at the fruits of my anointing car house will car go to heaven answer me will house go to heaven listen listen brothers and sisters we must begin to live having the passions of god in our heart there are many of us here we used to be committed to genuine evangelism genuine evangelism and we are allowing this this demonic wave of complacency in the church to just come around there are many churches i say this with all apology and due respect they cannot even remember the last time they made an altar call and they don't care correct they don't care to an extent that we can preach and look at many evangelical meetings and crusades right now on the crusade ground is money they are raising and doing miracles as great as that is the end of all of these things 
is to see a soul not just saved in terms of the religiosity saved but lives transformed every society is a reflection of the quality of the mindsets that are there this is why we are passionate and committed we do everything that we do week in week out to make sure that souls are saved and lives are transformed you will notice that i've almost not missed any koinonia meeting no matter where i am no matter where i am i try to make sure that friday i am back you know why because this work is my primary assignment any external ministration is just an extension of the apostolic impact are you getting what i'm saying now but this is the core and some of you are pastors let me talk to you or some of you are men of god you have your church you are in a year you will only preach once or twice and members are just sitting down and being confused under different kinds of messages and theologies everybody coming with his i believe in the corporate input of the body but the man the one that god has put as a shepherd you must stay and build the people you are constructing an ideology and it must be sustained so that the people are built in that ideology so that they won't be tossed through and through by every junk and every wind of doctrine there are some things when some of you here now you won't even pray about it is that true on account of what you have known the word of god comes to build you but when it builds you it creates a sense of responsibility you can't just be falling for nothing and then you stand up and you just clean your body and when you are going you say guy i fell today again oh, i've been falling the last three weeks this person said me too oh, this thing i don't know how it works that's not the goal it's not a thing to just it's, it's it's for you how many of you here have have sat down to say look bring five thousand bring five thousand let's make a very serious track track that is well edited and and has the kingdom not religion say i don't have a ministry you don't need a ministry you need passion you see that's the mindset we all have huh we believe that for impact to ever happen you must have a ministry so three friends come together they bring the five five thousand and say come let's settle this who is the jew of this group who is the real jew if they sow a seed now who does it go to that is to be carnally minded the bible says is dead that's that's really what carnality is that you are already that see judas was not a bad person judas was a carnal person he looked at jesus and he had a business idea the name of his business idea was jesus how he can use jesus christ and make money that was all that was why he didn't even use the money he thought that when they come to catch jesus christ he would do his majestic thing again when he found out that that thing had backfired he died he killed himself how many of us here we are on facebook some of us some of us are on twitter some of us are and we well not 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 many i say this for the sake of those who will be listening to the message there are many of us it's just rubbish if you are happy today everybody will know on facebook that you are happy joyful the sun is shining tomorrow if you are angry this world what a dark place your whole your whole emotional life on display idleness we don't live with the consciousness of the kingdom as you are laughing please take seriously what i'm saying hallelujah yet we want to see the glory of god in our lives what is wrong with using your posts and say lord i may not be a man of god i may not have the power to heal the sick now but i commit myself is that true to making sure that every week one soul is saved i must come for koinonia with somebody sister how has your beautiful face translated into soul winning in the kingdom let me talk to ladies your beauty is either bringing people into the kingdom or taking people out of the kingdom is that true there's nothing as neutral so the brother sees you and says sister you are very fine say we give glory to the, the name of the lord i'm inviting you let me use this opportunity 
and invite you if you are afraid of talking to the person about jesus christ some of us once they just say you are beautiful just say ah let me not bring jesus into it as if jesus is putting sugar inside food you know it's as if let me let me savor this moment now doesn't come every day let me enjoy it jesus stay away let me not bring any religiosity and then the lord watches you from the throne and says you pray you want a ministry you want a ministry where you are everywhere you want an international ministry and god sees your heart and he knows that there are some levels of the anointing if we give this person you are going to be a disaster to the kingdom and he measured a thousand cubits that man was there until he proved that he was faithful then another thousand cubits was measured there are some of us even if you fast for 100 days i am telling you more anointing will not come until you step up your passion and your and your reckless abandon for the things of the kingdom we're afraid of being looked at as being fanatical right so many of us i'm not a man of god please please i can i can so see it you know there's this theology people teach there are those who give there are those who preach many people say i'm in the category of the givers no everybody's in all three categories you must give you must pray you must preach hallelujah don't just say me i'm a giver and then because the man of god really needs money desperately he said you are doing the same thing with me you who is giving me and preaching is all the same thing it's true that it's the same thing but if it's the same thing it means you can switch it's still the same thing preach to who has changed because of you how many of us does your presence judge sin and iniquity listen to what i'm saying does your presence i'm not talking of condemnation right I'm not talking of condemning people and just writing people off that's 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 something else that's a theology that came from hell but does your presence judge sin and iniquity truly that someone wants to do something bad and your presence is an inconvenience to the person for some of us your presence is a is a catalyst Bless your head thank god you have even come sir and then let me not even let me not just bypass this how many of us have truly made up our minds to part with iniquity listen listen please do not ever think that there is a way of negotiating your way into intimacy with god if you really want authentic power iniquity must be far from you when I talk of iniquity, you, you know what I'm talking about. It must be far. Don't say it does not matter. Don't say it does not matter. I'm repeating it. You must hear me. Don't say it does not matter. You will never walk in authentic power. I asked a gentleman to come here. He was about committing suicide from what he told me. Just a few minutes before Koinonia started from aviation. He called me and said, I'm about to take my life. I'm about to kill myself. And I said, come for miracle service. I hope he's here. Let me tell you something. You want to bring joy to the devil? Let him watch you cry in weariness. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's greater than death. Let me tell you, Satan's ultimate desire is not death. That torture pleases him more than death. He likes to see when people cry in defeat. So this is how my life will be. So I went to school for nothing. I paid school fees for nothing. So this is how I will not get married. I'm 39. This is what is going to happen in my life. Oh, so this HIV is true. I thought it was joke. But right now, I'm coming to terms with the fact that I have six months to die. And the devil loves that. That's exactly what he wants. But when he finds people like us who say, Lord, <laughs> blessings or no blessings, you have done something to me. Ah! The moment you hear bad news, before it lands, you attack it with tongues. And the devil will say till now, and he say, you are joking. You've not seen anything else. When you are about to be weary, 
another strength comes. He dug a well and they covered it. He said, no problem, we will dig again. Dug another well and they covered it. He said, no problem. I learned a lesson from the ants. My toilet has a little compartment. And I started noticing ants because of the rain. They were trying to make a house somewhere there. Are you getting the point? I deliberately refused to pour water on them. Because the Bible says we should learn from the ants. I'm not a fool but I'm wise enough to learn from them. I kept watching these ants day and night. And I think when, I'm tra when I traveled I'm sure my people that work for me came and just clean that toilet and wash everything but I was surprised I thought they would cry when I got back I found out they had started again I said my message for tonight consistency consistency have you seen men who you thought it was their end and after two years mama are you still alive he said I'm still alive oh. I told you I would not die at a point in time, family members will even discuss and say, look, let's just encourage her. I think we should release her. Mama says, you are joking. I'm not going anywhere. I don't know what the devil has put as a load upon your head and has spoken to you that you will never see the other side of the miracle. I want to announce to you that today, today, that situation must change. Are we together? yes not everybody here is here because they are sick but I tell you more people have gone through hell from January till today than they have in the last 10 years walk on the road and see people talking to themselves you think they are talking to you until you wave them and you find out they are not even seeing you frustration they are about to give up I don't know how many car accidents we saw today and we did not see the other car that was hit. Meaning the person threw himself. Out of frustration. The devil. There is a plot from the kingdom of hell. To weary believers. And make them think God is not faithful. Because that's the whole goal. News after news. Bad news after bad news. And at a point you sit down and say. Kai is this thing working? Whether I eat my tithe or I pay it, I found out that the same result happens. Nothing. Let me tell you something. It's the waiting process that takes time. The manifestation comes speedily. Learn this. Manifestation does not come with time. It comes overnight. Overnight. All I have needed, thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, to me. I want you to make two decisions tonight. One, that you will never complain and grumble again. It looks like an impossible situation. But I want you to make that determination that from today I will never find myself opening my mouth to say God why? Why me? Why not you? Who else? Make a decision today. Hear me at this miracle service that you will never complain again. That you will tell yourself my God is good all the time regardless of my experiences. This is how I am. You will never hear me 
open my mouth and say God why now I wanted tea only sugar came can you bring bon vita and hot water no God you are faithful at all times are we together the Bible says a merry heart do it good like medicine right make that decision decision number two make up your mind to be ever thankful ever thankful not when you get a testimony make it a lifestyle many of us thank God when they give you a testimony oh a new shoe just arrived a new tie just arrived you must make up your mind let people believe that every day is Christmas or New Year for you because of your attitude of gratitude. People come to your house and you say, Lord, I thank you because you are faithful. Thank you for abundance. You are a good God. And your friend says, I thought you said you just have Gary, no sugar. You say, exactly. Say, somebody just sent you an alert. Abi. No, my God is faithful. That's how I am. In Nigeria, yes, that's how I am. Give thanks with a grateful heart give thanks God is ministering to you to the Holy One give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ his son give thanks with a grateful heart give thanks to the Holy One Give thanks Because it's given Jesus Christ Sing it with faith in your heart And now Let the weak say I am strong And let the poor say I'm challenging you to make decisions that will keep you consistent. Number one, avoid complaint. Nothing slows down consistency. Nothing produces inconsistency as a life full of bitterness and complain and grumbling. Let me tell you something. Murmuring is sin. Murmuring is not just wrong. Write it down. Murmuring is sin. You find out from scripture how people perished for murmuring. The Bible says they limited the Holy One by murmuring. Complaining. Lord, you should have done this. Lord, you should have done this. And uh -uh, make a decision under God. Advise yourself that I need to be consistent. And I will never find myself murmuring and complaining again. That does not mean everything will be a bed of roses, I tell you. Challenges will come. But you must make up your mind. Make up your mind that you will not murmur. Number two, thanksgiving, I told us. That's the second decision that will make you consistent in life. Thanksgiving. Whether you have a reason to be thankful or not, find a reason. One of our dear ladies in Lagos, we were at their house yesterday to visit with the family. And um, I think I've shared the story. She may even be following online right now. This lady about three years ago, during her birthday, her friends just poured, um, I can't remember what they poured now, caustic soda. And the lady became blind on her birthday. Her friends, careless friends rejoicing without sense, poured caustic soda. And now the lady for three, four years now is blind. But let me tell you, I've not seen a human being happier than that lady till yesterday 
I promised her that the next time we were in Lagos, we would visit her. We were so tired yesterday, but I made up my mind to visit with the family. And when we got there, she was blind. When she felt my hand, she was shouting, ah, Apostle, she was so happy. They were the first people to give me a birthday gift. Lovely father, lovely mother, lovely everyone. And the lady was so happy, joyful. Never for once did she tell me, Apostle, but will my eyes open? It seemed as though it was not even her business. She was talking to me that she was going abroad because she was in 300 level when she went blind. So nothing for schooling again. She was saying, Apostle, I want to go abroad and study psychology and counseling. And we're laughing. That's a blind person. A blind lady who would have planned to be married maybe by now. Supposedly her destiny shattered. Is it not when your eyes is open that you can see money to collect? Very happy lady. She challenged me sincerely. I thought about that experience even while we came today. I said, my goodness. That means your circumstances do not have to determine the extent of your joy, your gratitude. You can choose to respond instead of reacting. Oh, this is unfavorable, but God is still faithful. And Lord, I thank you. Everybody say, thank you, Jesus. Say it from the depth of your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When you thank God, you frustrate Satan. Thank you, Jesus. I thought my, my pension will come. It's five years now. But I thank you. You are still faithful. I thought we'll be able to complete the house in 2014. But till now, we've not even lifted it to lintel level. But I thank you that I have a land. I may not have a structure on it. In one minute, can you find everything God has done in your life and tell him thank you? Forget about what he has not done. If you do not have anything, you are a liar. Go ahead, mention them. Go ahead and mention them. Lord, you are faithful. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for life, for strength, for help. Tell him thank you. I may not have a house, but I am sane enough to even think of sleeping. Are you grateful, Koinonia? Those outside, for some of you, this is your miracle. As you are thanking God, you will find out that that sickness is no more there. It responds to gratitude. Lord, I may not have money, but thank you, I have an account that is ready to receive your favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Decision number three that will help you become consistent and persistent is to walk in love. Walk in love. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Once there is no love in your heart, you just puncture the tank of your destiny. Get set for an empty tank. The moment there is no love, it's better that you do not have faith. It's better that you do not have faith, I guarantee you. When all else fail in your life, make sure your love does not fail. Love. The antidote to offense. You will find men and women who will be sarcastic. They will say things. Ah, are you aware that that woman is barren? In case they've not told you, know it now. It's been eight years. All the children you see in a house are adopted. When you hear such a news, it can break your spirit. What if your own friends let you down? What if those you trust, you committed secrets to them about your life and they dashed it on the floor? Let me tell you something. The Bible says, blessed are you when you are not offended. There are a thousand and one reasons to be offended. Believe me when I tell you I have no offense in my life. 
there is no man on earth that is in any blacklist. I don't even have it. I'm a happy person. Every list is white. Vision and fulfillment. No blacklist. Now, as a leader, you can imagine how people treat you every day. From waking up to all kinds of things. On the road, someone wants to jam you and then he's insulting you again. And you now turn and tell him, your father or your mother. Or whatever it is that you want to use. And then you quickly remember that, ah, there's miracle service today. No. Are we together? People can be so foolish, they can annoy you. People can be so careless, they can annoy you. Your loved ones can be so insensitive. But you must make up your mind today that you will walk in love. Walk in love and watch how cheap Satan is. Watch how the mountains before you will melt like wax. It says love never fails. Everybody repeat it after me. In Nigeria where we are looking for insurance and guarantee, I give you one. Are we together? Many insurance companies will come and say, come and work with us. Do business with us. We are 150 years old. We can insure you. We can insure your life and your car. I found something in life that does not fail. Greater than potentials. Love. Never. Not love can fail and then readjust itself. Love never fails. I give you the fail proof. The fail proof key to living. Walk in love genuinely and passionately make room for love in your heart towards people you don't like towards people who insult you make up your mind that forever the love of God has consumed me and you will see how the anointing will multiply in your life you will see how God will let me tell you I have used this in my life God has used love to turn mountains what my faith could not do, my love did for me. Forever I am changed by your love. In the presence of your majesty. Sing majesty. Majesty. Sing majesty. Majesty. Forever we are changed. Forever we are changed by your love. We're in, in the, the presence, presence of your majesty. I'd like you to pray for yourself in one minute and say, Lord, take away bitterness from my heart. That, 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 that spirit of bitterness and anger that rejoices when I'm afflicting pain at others. Oh, apostle, you don't know what they did to me. I don't care. I don't care what happened to you. Walking in love is a choice. Walking in love is a choice. Hear me, I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. You can choose to walk in love. I will never forget, forgive that woman until Jesus comes. Then you are not ready to see the power of God in your life. The third decision that can make you consistent is to walk in love. Anytime, every time, at all times. Hallelujah. Never allow yourself be a victim of communicating lack of love. I hate this person. Are you aware that I hate Pastor Alpha? Are you aware that I hate Mama? I'm just keeping quiet. The day his cup will be full. See, let me tell you, those who talk like that never go far. Don't you ever think you will compromise on the law of love and get miracles. Only herbalists give miracles without love. 
the, the initiator of miracle is love. He was moved with compassion. He saw them as sheep without shepherd. Although they were insulting him, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Love. Love. The last decision that will help you become consistent. Are you ready? Is vision. Vision. The Bible says without vision, the people perish. The word perish was not accurately translated. The word there is to cast off restraint. In other words, to veer off from a path. Vision. And nothing keeps vision like the memory of the prophecy that backs it. Nothing keeps vision like the memory of the prophetic word that came with that vision. I may not remember what I said, but God told me. I remember. God told me I would build that house. I remember what he told me in 200 level. That I would be a PhD holder. God told me. Prophecy is powerful. It keeps men consistent. The moment you are about to gas out, a prophetic word comes. And God says, what did I tell you before you got married? Did I not tell you after four years I will lift you? You are just in the third year. Don't give up. My word still stands. And it supplies strength. And you can fire on. What did I tell you before you would start that business? I told you that I will lift you. And so you stand. Many of us forget the prophetic words upon our lives. We trivialize it. Now, I know that we live in a generation where everybody is a prophet. Somebody just sees you and says something that is not worth remembering. But I tell you, when you hear something that is of God, there are things God has spoken about in my life, I even forgot them. When they happened, I went back, I had to go back and check my notes and said, my God, you said this. You said this. The first time God spoke to me about Koinonia was 2005. I wrote it down, but I didn't pay attention. So when God spoke to me about starting it, I think it was last year or so, I was going through all of my notes during my retreat and I saw it there. I said, my goodness. When God speaks, hear me, he's worth believing. Whether you have any evidence or not, just believe him foolishly. God, you said by December, I will own a house. This is June. There is no land available. I have 5,000 in my account, home and abroad. And God says, so what? I never told you you will buy the house. I said you will have a house. There are many ways to have a house. It can be given. Someone can lack his sleep and God says, this is the man to bless. You know, many of us don't believe God can move in these dimensions. I believe him. Absolutely. I believe him. Are we together? I believe God with all my heart because I know he is faithful. There are things he has said to us as a ministry. There are things he has said to me as a person. I have watched one by one. One by one. And there are many more that will come to pass. I want to ask you a question. What has God said concerning your life? What prophecy has come upon you? As a family of faith, God declared unto us that this is our year of what? Multiplied grace and influence. God saw fuel crisis when he made that statement. God saw the dollar nose diving, the naira nose diving when he made that statement. It's up to you to remain consistent or join those who are making noise and perish with them. God's obsession is to be trusted. He wants to be trusted. Are we together? If he said it, I believe it. If it does not work, at least I won't die. But I know that I believe him. Do you believe God? Let me tell you something. There is nothing God will tell you that looks possible. If God tells you something that looks possible, you didn't hear him. Because God speaks from his realm. He will never tell you what is possible. Your brain and your job can tell you, save to 200,000. In five months, you have one million.
go and buy Toyota Camry. That's your brain. But God says, I will give you the treasures of darkness. And he said, God, how? The how is none of your business. Here's how the Bible puts it. He said, just as you do not know the way of the wind, nor how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child, so also you do not know the way of the Lord. God walks in mysterious ways. Are we together? Somebody called me. He's getting married next month. And he said they did the budget. They, they updated it and it was 2.7. I said, how much do you have? And he said he has 40,000. And I said, don't, don't laugh. I'm, I'm, listen, he's not an irresponsible person. I can tell you this. It's just that he, he's in a situation right now and he needs a miracle. And he said, man of God, will this thing come to pass? I said, you even have 40,000 and you are complaining. Ask those who had only five loaf and two fish and were about to feed 5,000 people immediately. Time was not given. Immediately, five loaf. I love Jesus. What a man that inspires me. Five loaf and two fishes. And he said, ask them to sit down. If you don't believe God enough to sit down, no bread for you. You have to, you have to prove that you, sitting down means be at rest. Because your standing is, let me watch in case it doesn't happen. Let me quickly dodge. And God says, I don't walk like that. You must be still. Then you will know that I am God. You can't be busy and say, Lord, be proving it while I wage my faith. Because I'm used to you disappointing me. No. Ah, I love Esther. If I perish, I perish. Are there such people this night? Men who will believe God. I'm motivating you and speaking over your life to continue and be consistent. Who told you it will never come to pass? The person who is laughing at you is also on earth trying to figure out his own life. What confidence do they have? It's like two people, you are writing exams and the person is laughing and say you are sweating, Abby. Whereas he's writing the same exam. Is he not foolish? I'm speaking to somebody here by the spirit of the living God that the Egyptians you see today that have mocked you kabakasuta pratika pariata the Egyptians you see today you are not the first to see Egyptians this man standing before you lives with Egyptians it's not that I saw them there, there, there is a level you get to as a leader you don't conquer challenges. You walk through them. They, are, they become your companions. <laughs> ah, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he says, I fear no evil. He says, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Then he says this, thou prepare. You are not in a hurry. You are taking your time to prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. We are going to pray. God is ministering to us. Please, I want to challenge somebody. Go back and hold that thing you were doing and continue. I don't know who asked you to stop that business. I know what stopped you. Pain stopped you. You opened the shop and everything dried. Go and open it again. Let them laugh at you. Go and open it. When you succeed, they will bite their words again. Are we together? Yeah, don't mind Nigerians and their sarcastic way of laughing people out of destiny that's why only few people ever succeed are we together the Lord is asking me to prophesy to someone here that you should go back to what he asks you to do God asks you to put your hand on that plow. I'm speaking specifically concerning work and career and business. There are people God directed to certain things. But because of your pain and failure, you are saying, look, um, I, I want to follow the path of least resistance. That's the path of failures. Are we together? Yeah. 
never allow pain stop you from being consistent never allow the mockery of people while they were mocking Noah he was busy building the ark while they were mocking him after 90 years he continued 100 years he continued after 120 years God said Noah get into the ark I'm about to send the rain as I said God told you this year you will hold your first million and you are saying God this is June this is June and God says don't insult me I am more than able to wipe your tears it's up to you to believe God oh this year you will get married God as I'm speaking to you right now there is no man in my life the last man who came came as as careless as he came that's how he went and God says it doesn't matter how long does it take to settle you let me tell you it doesn't take time to marry it just takes vision and finances once there is no money you shift dates when God brings his blessings he brings every resource to make it happen are we together yeah. God said you will be gainfully employed this year is June and the last place where you were holding on to Air Force just came out day before yesterday your name is not there are we together the person who would help you just called and said look young man um, I thought we'll be able to fix you up at Shell or Chevron but I'm sad to announce to you even us we are standing to maintain our position and then you will know that by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail that's the time to hand over to God I believe yes Lord I Yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me. It is well with me. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe it is well. One more time. With me. Lord, I believe. standing by my side to bring his word to pass he reigns our God is an awesome rise up on your feet he reigns he reigns he reigns yes he reigns and say Lord I challenge unbelief I'm a believer you are not a liar when you speak you bring your word to pass are you praying inside and outside I believe you I believe you, I believe you, I believe you, I believe you. 
Manda prata shabara da balada ba kosa prati ke de balada ba. Go ahead and say, Lord, I believe you. You are not a man that you should lie. You are not the son of man that you should repent. I hold on to prophecy. I hold on to prophecy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to open your mouth and cry before God. Tell him what must happen in your life this night. What you are tired of that must leave you today. Not tomorrow. Lift your voice and pray. Don't be a doubter. The power of God is able to touch you and change your situation. You've had the testimonies of others. Pray, pray. Is part of the meeting. Tonight, I hold on to the four horns of the altar. Don't stop, you are praying. The Lord will do a quick walk here tonight. Change my story, oh God. Change that genotype, oh God. Open up that womb, oh God. Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome. This place, Lord, you are welcome in this place. Send your anointing. 
Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everybody. Tonight will be an extraordinary night. It will be very fast. What the Lord will do. Very fast. The message is what you have received. Very fast. I like you to expect miracles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, no instruments. Stop. Just lift your hands. Just lift your hands. That's the instruction God is giving me. Lift your hands, everybody. I want to pray. I want to pray and I'm hearing the word breakthrough. That's the first thing I'm praying for. Listen, please. The moment I begin to pray that prayer of breakthrough, I want you to bring everyone under the anointing for that word. For some of you to surprise you the way the power of God will come upon you. I tell you, the moment the power of God touches you, know that this prophecy is for you. I hear the word breakthrough. Breakthrough. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I don't know where they are. Right now. Kabarakato zabarikata. I stretch my hands across the length and breadth of this congregation right now everyone under the influence of this prophetic word right now, right now, right now the first overflow outside right now, right now right now, breakthrough there is an angel of the Lord identifying men breakthrough bring them in breakthrough kata la kata it's time for you to step into levels of breakthrough 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 i prophesied as i mentioned that word the grace the anointing is visiting you that stumbling block leaves you now breakthrough 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 angels of breakthrough i release them across this congregation right now in all the overflows the thousands following us online breakthrough the power of god is touching you right where you are right now right where you are breakthrough shabakata lakatia mande brakesi kataya the lord will do a quick walk tonight a quick walk tonight he's touching you without delay without delay if it's your case god visits you at once if it's your case god visits you at once breakthrough breakthrough that's what i hear in my spirit there are still others there are still others i see another wave of anointing coming breakthroughs breakthroughs that's what god is bringing right now Zembra kato sobriata balada 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 bas. Rento skiparada ba. We'll be very fast tonight. Our time is gone. I tell you, there is enough anointing for anything you want. It's going to be a fast word. The Lord told me once. I mentioned the case. His power moves. I hear delay in my spirit. Get ready. Keep playing, Mike. Be sensitive, please. The strings. Right now, everyone under the influence of the spirit of delay delay just for delay right now right now like a string cut from you right now like a string cut from you inside and outside i command that spirit to leave delay 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 any destiny here under the influence of delay you can't stand it you can't stand it is the anointing of the holy ghost destroying delay that embargo of delay you are caused by the God of heaven caused by the God of heaven caused by the God of heaven the spirit of delay I curse you over God's people this is a miracle service delay that has kept you down that has kept you down that has kept your family down hallelujah lift your hands everybody the lord wants to visit families the second overflow outside 
I see the Lord touching men. As I begin to pray right now, every family under any embargo, at the count of three, fire falls on you now. One, two, three. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. Inside, outside. Embargoes over families. Embargoes over families. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. By the message of the God of heaven. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. It's coming on you like rain, like the dew of heaven. Take that fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know who this mama is, but madam, an angel of the Lord is touching you right now. As I'm speaking to you, fire is coming upon you. An angel of the Lord right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Oh God, once again confirm this call and anointing. Karapo shopara tu sotopan. Gepereto supreti sekete balanaba. Hallelujah. 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 I'm seeing several gates opening. Hear me. And the Lord said, this is the womb of many people. Please, I want to pray for you right now. The Lord is opening barren wombs. That's what God is showing me. Whether miscarriage or no children completely, I don't care what it is. Lift your hands for you and for your loved ones. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let the power to perform be released right now. Every barren womb for you and your loved ones. I open it right now, right now, right now, right now. I open every barren womb. I open every barren womb. Right now, every barren womb. Be open. Be open. Be open. Barren wombs. Be open. Barren wombs. Be open. Kapatalaka. Reposia. Barren wombs. Be open. Barren wombs. Be open. Be open. Will you open up the gates? The gates. Open up the doors. I command every closed door over your destiny. Open up the gates. The gates. Open up the doors. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. Every gate and every door over my destiny be open right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Be open. There is an anointing to open it. Every gate, every door, kaparakata, kepere shopa. Fire is burning in this place. I command gates. I command doors. Be open now. I command gates. I command doors. Be open now. I command gates. I command doors. Be open now. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every chain tying my life stopping me from making progress in the name of Jesus. Chains be broken. Open your mouth and pray. 
I break that chain. I break that chain. Kabataya. It's time to move forward by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody. I want to challenge powers. I tell you, there are spirits that sit on the destinies of people. I believe that the prayer I'm about to pray for you right now will challenge this spirit. Hear me. There are men, there are women under the influence of strange spirits. That's right. That will stop them from advancing. But right now, at the count of three, everywhere in all the overflows, Father, I pray, once again, validate this anointing. Once again, validate this apostolic and prophetic call. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus and I command every spirit to leave. One, two, three. Right now, right now, every power, every spirit, every power, every spirit, out of them now, out of their destiny now, strange spirits, strange spirits, like fire, it comes upon you. The refiner's fire setting men free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Lift your hands. I tell you, I feel this thing on me right now. Ah! I want to pray for you. Watch this. The Lord is showing me a vision. And this is what I see. I see stones and I see fire falling on it. And the Lord says, these are the altars that have kept destinies down. Hear me. If you belong to this category, physical fire, physical fire will come on you. That devil must give way. Right now, I stand upon this apostolic call. I stand upon this prophetic call. Right now, fire 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 on every devil fire on every spirit fire on every altar let it burn 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 every altar let it burn every altar release God's people Release God's people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm prophesying. I see the Lord giving certain men direction. That direction will come like an anointing. You are asking God, what should I do? Where should I go? Right now, where are they, oh God? The power of God is coming on them. That's direction. You are receiving direction right now. Wherever you are, direction is coming. Direction is coming. Direction is coming. Confusion is ending. Direction on ministry. Direction on career. Direction on marriage. It comes to you right now. Right now. By the anointing. Direction is coming. Direction is coming. Direction is coming. Direction is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
the Lord is giving me an instruction that we should pray in the spirit for five minutes intensely just do what I'm asking you to do something will happen to you go ahead blast in tongues for the next five minutes Come on, pray. Rekoto shokata ba 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 ba. Mataka ba koto shokotesh. E plus kabara da ba ba ba. Matapra katana kate. Skabari kete. E rekoto shobekeria. E rekoto toto kata kata kata. Bakabara da ba kashe. Rekete tete. Fire is burning. Rapa kata kata kata. Fire is burning. I tell you, pray in the spirit. Fire is burning. Rekete tete tete tete. Mrekete koshota ba. Rakata bakata rekete. Rekoto shobekete. Mbloko shobaski ba. Bata braska baria na 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 ba. Hallelujah. 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 Who is Regina? Regina. I hear a name Regina. Regina. Fire is burning in this place. The Lord is going to do a quick walk. Quick walk. Mighty walk. No power will stand tonight. No power will stand tonight. I command every power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Listen to me. You know, bad days are times when unusual requests are granted. It was during Herod's birthday that the head of a prophet went. Are we together? The best way to celebrate your birthday is to dethrone principalities and powers. Every spirit represented here, I'm saying it again right now. No matter where you are hiding, I stand under this apostolic and prophetic anointing. If I be called and sent of God right now at the count of three, on your mark, get set. Go, 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 go. Out you go. Out you go. Pack your load. Pack your failure out of their destinies. Hallelujah. Regina. You are Regina, ma. Please come. Come on. I have to pray for you. I'm looking at you, ma, and I'm seeing the spirit of death upon you. Don't, don't, I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. I look at you and I'm looking at a corpse, like somebody that has died. I'm seeing uh, what they call it, um, um, cotton wool in the nose and the ears as I'm looking at you physically. And the Lord is saying it's time for your miracle. I don't know what is wrong with you. Come. Walk to me, man. Hold my hands. Right now, I command that spirit. Your time is over. Right now. Out! Right now. Be gone. Now. Be gone. Right now. Out! 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. It's time for this woman's deliverance. Who brought her? Who brought this madam? What's wrong with her? Come, talk to me. Oh, chronic leg ulcer. Ah, I see it here. It's not healing. What is it? It's rotting or something? It's rotting. It's refusing to dry up. That devil. Madam, you feel pain on your legs? pain on your legs 
You believe God will heal you? A spirit just left you. That's what they call leg ulcer. And the reason, I don't know if they diagnosed you, but I'm looking at you and I'm not even seeing a woman healed of ulcer. I'm seeing a woman healed of diabetes. Huh? That's the cause of this thing. That's why it's not here. I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you what the Holy Spirit is telling me. This thing is diabetes. And that's why this thing is not healing. Stand up. Walk. Carry her up. Oh God, help your mother now. Why are you watching? Madam, look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ. No, no, you don't have to lift it. I bring life to these legs. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Don't look at the legs. Move it. Move it. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Just look at me. Move it. Go ahead. Move it. Move it. Walk. Come. Come to me. Come. Come. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Look at this. Go ahead. Lift it up. Look at this. Look at a miracle happening to her. She's still under the power of the Holy Ghost. A miracle is happening to her. In the name of Jesus, lift it up. That devil goes. I command it to dry now. Not later. Right now. It dries up. Dries up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Lord Regina. Hallelujah. There is a lady from Kogi State. Right now, I don't know where she is, but you will locate her by a shout. I sincerely don't know what I'm saying. It's under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. There is bondage that has been for so long in your family. And God is saying today, you are, you are set free. From Kogi State, one lady... Fire will land on her wherever she is. Whether it... Where is she from? Who knows her? Where is she from? Eh? Is she from Kogi State? Bring her out. It's time for the salvation of your family. I stretch my hands on you. And I challenge every altar standing against your family. They must let you go right now. Right now, release her. I stand by an anointing and I, I challenge you. You are living right now. The Lord of Sabaoth brings judgment upon you. In the name of Jesus. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Of Jesus Christ. I don't know what God is doing with Kogi people. I'm hearing Okene, 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 Okene. Okene is a place in Kogi state. There is a visitation coming to that territory. Right now. People who belong from that territory. An anointing is coming right now. I'm not saying you should clap. I'm saying you should receive. Right now. I don't know where they are. But all those from Okene, I release an anointing right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Inside and outside. Strange visitations. God is bringing visitation to that territory right now. If you are from that place, that name is a code in the spirit. It locates you wherever you are. In the name of the Lord Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus There is power In the name of Jesus There is power In the name of Jesus To break every chain To break every chain To break every chain To break every chain Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, everyone, stretch your hands towards me. I see something. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Stretch your hands towards me. I see something like medals being given to people. And the Lord is saying, as this medal comes, He's increasing the grace upon their lives like medals that's what i'm saying and the lord said you should stretch your hands i release my hands back to you right now not everybody but there are people wherever they are shatabata take it take it take it take it 
Shaparikete. Rise, rise, rise. Rise in the spirit. Rise in the spirit. Rise in the spirit. Kapatatatikete. Ereketetetete. Kabaratuzoporiate. Hallelujah. Prayer HOD. Come and hold your hands of your assistant quickly. Come and stand, two of you. Hold your hands and lift it up. A new grace. The gifts of the spirit is coming on both of you right now. Strange gift. The Lord is saying is the season for you to begin to walk in the gifts of the spirit. The gifts of the spirit. Lift your hands. I see gifts falling on people. Gifts falling on people. Gifts, 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 gifts right now. Gifts. Help them, please. Help them. Gift. There are men of God receiving gifts. Men of God. Men in ministry receiving gifts right now. I activate it. I activate it. Kapatayada. I activate it right now. Right now. Gift. Gift. The prophetic. Gift. The prophetic. Gift. The prophetic. Eyes to see. Yes to hear. Eyes to see. Yes to hear. Kapa shakata. Padikata di kabaritos. Job said there is a part which no eye has seen. The wealth of the lion has not gotten there. Hallelujah. I'm still praying for gifts again because I see it. Hear me. There are many people. You don't hear me pray this prayer, but I hear word of knowledge. There are people who need to step into the revelatory gifts of the spirit. Wherever you are, I stand upon this anointing. Receive it right now. Revelatory gifts. Revelatory gifts. Revelatory gifts. Ay, 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 ay. Revelatory gifts. Kapatata. Rakatata. Abarata. I stretch my hands. Step into that level. The word of knowledge. The gift of prophecy. The discerning of spirits. Ay, 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 Hallelujah. 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 I'm looking at a vision the Lord is showing me and I'm seeing the exact color of my dress and the Lord says it's a mantle of favor. Listen. It's going to mantle people right now as I speak. Please hear me. Lift your hands. Favor. It's a mantle. You can wear it like a garment. Father, I pray there are people, this is the miracle you need. That mantle of favor. Across this building, the overflow, the next overflow, online, right now, on everyone, everyone under the sound of my voice, may mantles of favor come upon you right now. Mantles of favor come upon you right now. Lord, on everyone, let no one be left. Let no one be left. Wear it like a garment. Wear it like a garment. Wear it like a garment. Let it open strange doors for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
our time is gone we have to be fast my goodness now listen before we pray for the sick there's no time to just pray and ask them to come and so we we'll pray for the sick but before we do that if you have your prayer request lift it up this is very strange what the Lord shows me usually we bring it out and lay it here but the Lord is asking please if it's in a phone maybe your loved ones wrote it leave the phone up it's not we're not playing games please please don't come and waste your time there is a God that answers prayers my dear come you are Regina I have to pray for you because the Lord is telling me that he wants to end captivity in your family are you hearing what I'm saying there is a lot of suffering and pain in your family and the Lord is asking that I pray for you number one number two for you the Lord is saying I should tell you it stops I don't know what is that but the Lord is saying it stops from today it stops hold my hands father bring your word to pass in the life of this lady right now in the name of Jesus over your family I command that that pain that captivity comes to an end and for you the prophecy is that it stops I don't know what it is but I stop it right now right now right now right now right now it stops Kaba Shiba Ratusia Ende La Rusa Pras Kubarita Shubriata Baladaba those online I know that there are hundreds of prayer requests no problem the media department is stretching it by faith those outside don't worry you will lift it before we submit it if there's something you should write and you've not written you will quickly write it before we pray but the Lord is just asking me to lift it up Hallelujah. I'm going to pray on it. And the Lord says for us to hold it and just pray in tongues for just a minute. Seriously and violently on your request. Are we together? In one minute, just speak over it. Are you not the God that answers prayers? Lord, when you speak, it may look foolish. When you speak, it may look foolish, but we choose to be foolish in obedience to your word. Pray! Answers are falling. Answers are falling from heaven. Just in one minute. Shabakata. Answers are falling. Answers are falling. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please lift it up. Lift it up. I want to speak over it. The Lord is going to open the eyes of many people here as I pray. And you will see the requests on fire. Physically. At least I see seven people having this experience. Physically. You will see fire. I'm not saying physical fire. I'm saying when the Lord opens your eyes, you will see it as though burning. That's what is going to happen. Father, you have given an instruction. We are foolish enough to obey you. Right now, upon this request, the fire that brings performance. The fire that brings answers. Let it begin to follow God on prayer requests right now. Let the fire that brings answers fall on them. Turning the requests into testimonies. Turning the requests. Kabashikata. Ente karata. There's authority in this place. Turning the requests into testimonies. Hallelujah. Now begin to forward them to the ushers. Please ushers quickly start collecting them. While they are doing that, please be careful with those in front. Some of them are under the anointing so don't match them. You are here trusting God for healing. 
specifically i want to lay my hands on you now make your way to the front you came with a sick person it's time to bring them to the front very quickly as we worship in your presence there is healing the holy spirit's gentle touch is flowing I like you to believe the Lord. There is healing in your name. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. Let your faith be alive. The power of God is already touching people. It's flowing. hear me please listen i don't care what the name of that sickness is you must refuse and insist that plus your hair falling you must be healed are you hearing don't say this one is not serious uh -uh. when you are coming here insist and say lord from my head to my toe i must be healed as we minister to you by the power of the holy ghost the anointing is already touching people. Some of you, we may not even need to come close to you. It's the power of God. While that is happening, I want everybody in the congregation, we are going to maintain an attitude of prayer. No carelessness and gisting around. Begin to speak to God concerning your prayer request. There are so many people who are proud to tell you this is a place of healing. In every city and in every territory, God must find a place where he can extend his healing power to his people. The Lord is showing me all kinds of infirmities. HIV, diabetes, tumor, breast lump, breast lump, a lot of breast lump. The Lord is going to heal you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jimmy, please come. We're going to pray. Listen, there is the anointing upon him. Come, Jimmy. There's fire upon my hands, and I want you to touch that anointing. Go ahead. That anointing. That's what the Lord says. I should tell you to touch my hands and touch that healing anointing, that healing power. Miracle worker. Ah, you are the miracle worker. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. Go and do a miracle. A miracle today. Father, please heal everyone here. Everyone. And for those you are standing for, you have the photos of any everyone. Don't worry. While we are coming, just show the photos, whether it's phone or whatever. We will lay hands on it. Believe God. Please, no commotion. As we pray for you, just gently walk to your seat. Because of time, we don't take instant testimonies. Please forgive us. But make sure you are praying. Don't just stand looking at others carelessly. Let your heart be open. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Help us. You made a way. Stretch your hands towards the prayer requests. And begin to speak over them. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Those those being prayed for, don't worry. Just focus. We're praying for you. But everyone, pray on the request. Out right now. Stretch your hands on the request and pray. I command the spirit of death to leave you right now. Please stretch your hands. Make sure you are talking to the Lord. We are not just whiling away time. You can move the mountains. Prophesy and say, Lord. You will visit me, you will visit my request. Savior, you can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Ow. Forever, author of salvation. Heroes and conquerors. 
service please stretch your hands here those still on the healing lines don't worry Jimmy will handle you please stretch your hands let's save time very quickly prophesy we're not wasting time please I want you to understand the nature of the service and what we are doing outside in any of the overflows just stretch your hands and let's trust the God that heals go ahead and pray Shabarako Subredika Shabriata are you praying? Prophesy. Lord, we declare 
the miracle walking power of Jesus the miracle walking power of Jesus the miracle walking power of Jesus go ahead and prophesy Lord I declare that these requests are turned to testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus we declare we declare we have brought them before the altar they will never return to your life you have handed it before the altar it will never return to your life you've handed it before the altar of God it will never return to your life hallelujah hallelujah we're going to do three things very quickly very very quickly I'm going to speak over our lives right now immediately after that we'll take the altar call our time is gone but even if it's two minutes we have to give people who are making commitments for the Lord hallelujah lift your hands everybody and receive the final prophecy these prophecies are powerful that's why you hear people returning back with testimonies the prophetic words change lives in my opinion you've heard me say it again and again I believe this is the most powerful part of the miracle service not everyone may come out here not everyone may fall under the anointing but the prophecy can come upon everyone in the name of Jesus Christ these Egyptians that you see over your life over your destiny I declare that by this miracle service you see them no more forever I declare that you see them no more forever you see them no more forever you see them no more forever in the name of Jesus everything that has delayed you the level you are supposed to have been I don't know what that level is but I don't know what stop you from getting to that level right now between now and next miracle service run with a dimension of speed you have never experienced run with a dimension of speed you have never experienced run with a dimension of speed you have never experienced I pray for the works of your hands that has refused to grow in the name of Jesus I declare the month of June and July months of supernatural increase that which is upon your hand is compelled to grow in the name of Jesus Christ the kind of favor you have not seen from beginning of this year to this mid-year I command in the name of Jesus you will experience it you will experience it in the name of Jesus the Bible says revive now thy work in the midst of the year in the midst of the year it says revive now thy work I don't know what has gone cold in your life maybe your prayer life maybe your word life but by the message of the God of heaven I pray let there be revival for you right now supernatural revival for you in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah before danger shows up in your life may God give you the eyes to see before men conspire against you may God open your eyes to see hallelujah where men have said you can never get to the embargo they have put on your destiny I tear it out of your life in the name of Jesus hallelujah I pray for every student here that unction that anointing that gives men capacity to be extraordinary I command it to fall upon you right now I command it to fall upon you right now for all final year students there is a finishers anointing the grace that grants men access to finish in the name of Jesus as you push this one last time may the heavens push with you may the heavens push with you in the name of Jesus Christ every disfavor every bad luck 
everything that does not represent the aura of favor in your life I drive it far from your life in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus whatever makes money run away from your hand whatever makes it to change direction when it's almost getting to you I command that spirit to live your life forever I release abundance of financial supplies to you. Abundance of financial supplies. The spirit of fear that has stopped you from rising up and doing big things. In the name of Jesus, as this month comes to an end, it drives that spirit out of your life. I will always pray this prayer for you. I call again the helpers of your destiny. I don't know how to make you believe the power of this prayer. But in the name of Jesus, may they appear in your life. Hallelujah. I want to pray a special prayer for you. One of the blessings that God has given me in my life is unusual access. God has given me strange dimensions of access access to men of influence access to men of authority i pray for you in this season whatever will connect you to men of influence not just men who can help you but men who have the ability to help you may that connection happen in the name of jesus may that connection happen in the name of jesus everything that has died in your hands I don't care for how long in the name of Jesus I command resurrection upon it I pray for you the resources you have in your hand grace comes upon it to multiply grace comes upon it to multiply grace comes upon it to multiply in the name of Jesus the presence of God that has distinguished men in this ministry may that supernatural glory that presence may that aura go with you everywhere you go whoever has said no to you I change their statements in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ finally I pray for your spiritual hunger what good is it if you get money you get all of these things and with it you lose your passion that whatever you lose in life may your passion for God not be one of them in the name of Jesus Christ everything you submitted here as a prayer request we turn it to your testimony we turn it to your testimony we turn it to your testimony In this period of my birthday, as the Lord blesses me, I pray that he will bless you too. Believe me, I'm praying for you from my heart. That whatever God does for me, by his mercies, the mercies of the God of David, may he do it for you. As God lifts me, may he lift you. As God wipes my tears, may he wipe your tears. In the name of Jesus Christ. The next time we're looking for men to stand and testify genuinely in the name of Jesus. May your testimonies be so heavy you cannot sit back there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone called barren, go and return with your miracle children. Everyone called jobless, go and return with a miracle job. Everyone due for promotion. You had the testimony of prof. In the name of Jesus, may the God that lifts men promote you. Promote your loved ones. Promote you and your loved ones. In the name of Jesus. May you wake up in the morning and return back with miracles that will bring tears in your eyes. While you are sleeping, May God wake somebody to be wondering what to bless you with. Ay, 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 ay. Our time is gone, but receive this. 
I say it again that while you are sleeping may somebody else stay awake wondering how to bless you every gift you have but there is no platform to give it expression so that it will bless you there are many of us who have potentials but those who need it that access to them is far I connect you to those who need your gift I connect you to those who have the grace to celebrate you in the name of the Lord Jesus hallelujah while others are walking may you fly by the wings of the spirit may you fly by the wings of the spirit don't doubt the prayer I'm praying for you. Don't let the devil make you think he's just talking. I'm not just talking. I say it again. While men are walking, may the Lord give you wings with which you will fly. Every family represented here, not just as individuals, as a family, return with your testimony. What you have been praying for to happen in your family, I declare that between now and the end of June, may you begin to record testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Two minutes very quickly. You're surrendering your all and your heart to Jesus. Please keep standing, no movement around. There are two sets of people I want to invite here quickly. Those who are saying, man of God, I love the Lord but I need his help in my life. And those who are saying, I have never even made that commitment. Please, let's rise as we honor them. They need to be encouraged. I know there are people like that. We don't want to cajole you. God has spoken to your heart already. Outside and in any of the overflows, make your way to the front right now. Please, we have one minute for this. God bless you as you come. Don't wait for the first person. God bless you. Run out. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. The Lord is speaking to you and he's saying, make your ways right. Make your ways right. It doesn't matter what you have done. God is giving you as many chances as will take to be restored to him. Make your way to the front. You need Jesus. The Lord is calling you. God bless you. Please, if you are coming, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up so that we save time. Clear the way for them, especially in the overflow outside. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. Lift your hands. If you are coming out, then join them. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you. We're hurrying up, but it doesn't mean we're joking. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you. Tonight, I surrender my heart. I surrender my life. I surrender my all. Take me, use me, anoint me for your glory from today. I am yours forever. In the name of Jesus, I pray that this prayer will be sealed by the presence of the Holy Spirit. You keep rising from glory to glory. Your love and passion for God will never diminish. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for answer of the altar call. Just make your way out. There's someone waving his hands. They're waving their hands to you and they'll have your details. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Appreciate them coming on here. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise, I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain